for me, it was just like listening to it like over and over again and understanding how real and how powerful like the actual words in the project are. That's like, that's what makes the soil like, I feel like the soil is like the next generation's guide to life in general. Like that's what I think it is. Like even in Poltergeist, um, at the end, that's like, that's, that's what that thing is. That's what this project is. It's like, you can listen to this project in the morning before you go to school and like how you're gonna operate at school is different yeah. from like if you were bumping, you know, some trap shit. <laughs> What's the best song on soil? Best song on soil? Soil? What's the top three? Yeah, please, that's a fair <laughs> question. Yeah. Soil, one. Mm. Soil, one. Is Dead Jungle still on there? Yeah. Dead Jungle, I love Dead Jungle. And now this one is a... Um, a third one. I know at some point you were really wilding about Rap Relay with the... Yeah, the, the, I'm weighing out which one is number three, but that was one of the options for number three. I'll give you a top five, bro. <laughs> Okay. I give you a top five. Soil. Uh, Soil definitely. Uh, number two, Dead Jungle. Number three, Rap Relay. Okay, I mean, since, since this is a top five, I can give Rap Relay number three. Uh, number five is Whoa Whoa. Number four, damn. Can I say the pen, bro? Like, can I say the pen? Do you do it? Would people know it? So, because that's the album I experienced. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the pen. I will allow it. Will allow yeah. it. Yeah. It's like so. This is, this, this is actually the beginning. It's like the beginning of a new thing, and it's like the 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 momentum we carry on from this, and the things that we build going forward from this. It, it it's it's so it's so great that we were we were able to lay this foundation. I think my top three would be in order of. Best to third, uh -huh. it's Poltergeist, then Dead Jungle, Dead and then um, um, the one about uh, B. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. So, in so, that order. So when you say top three, are you so are you saying top three beats or just top three songs? It's top three it's songs. Unfair to make a top three, and I was like, I said, whoa, whoa, and I, whoa, whoa wasn't in my top three, and I was like, damn, I'll put whoa, whoa in my top three. So Poltergeist number one. Number one. Dead Jungle number two. Number two. Uh, Whoa Whoa number three. Yeah. Okay. What What do you say, Nick? Make him laugh tough. Okay. So number one definitely. So number one. Yo, um, I'm really attached to Reset. Reset number two. Ooh. Yeah. And then number three. Reset. Uh, the handful of dust. Okay. Oh, damn. You see? You see what I'm saying? Ash. It's like it's so hard. Ash. But yeah, that's my top three. That's right. my top three. Shoot, uh, what are we saying? Soil, Poltergeist, uh -huh. and. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Whoa. Probably, yeah. Sheesh. I think I can. I, I think I'm, I'm only. I'm, I'm also saying, like, whoa, because. Um, I think, obviously, because of um, like mixing purposes and mostly purposes and stuff. Yeah. My favorite idea that you executed that shooter had was Wo Wo. Sure, that yeah, you killed. Sure, yeah. yeah, you Whoa. killed Wo Wo. The idea shooter came with the yeah, Whoa Whoa, Whoa, my bitch, the yeah. Coco. Yeah. Like, when, 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 the way you took it, crazy. The other idea that you translated was, 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 was Loose Change. Yeah, Loose Change you, you, also. Like because that one was like more, shooter's idea of Loose Change and the approach wasn't the way you did it. Sure, but yeah. you, but you, but you, you took you took it to like a, a whole new sure. like abstract, and then I think uh, 
then obviously bro soil is like i mean yeah. the way you interpreted that one was ridiculous yeah, that's like that one was like under really like money that came out, under money yeah. bro you know don't tell me that it's not possible top three songs on soil go for you first. soil Uh, loose change, handful of dust. I'll okay. I'll say uh, soil. Whoa, whoa. Ish. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, so soil. Whoa, whoa. Loose change. I hear place whoa whoa with handful of dust on my side. But there's so yeah. many fire joints, bro. Portfolio yeah. bangs, dog. Yeah, the dust, verse on Portfolio was crazy, dog. Resets a dope hard. moment. Mecca's the joint. Let me out the fire. Let me out is crazy. Black skin, flat nose, fat lips, that hoe, that bitch. I've heard it all. I'm learning hard, diverting, diverted. I'm turning corners, hunting. I'm hurting, lost. I'm running for burning borders. Murphy's law. So I, I remember you, you were you were not in favor of the uh, of the decision to take the pen and spiritual warfare off. I I saw Vaughn was telling me like you know you send him like mad messages Bro, like I you would tweak it. <laughs> there was there was even a day like because he t I think he told me when I was here, and when he told me and he's just like that's the plan. I was like, ah, don't agree with it, but you say you've got a plan. And on our way home, it was me, Big Les, Mizo, and Big Homie. Like, that's just what we did. Like, it's either we'd be either driving here or from here, and we played that album from the way home. And we played the same way every time from start to finish, right? So one time, I think it was before the pit, we were by the gate, right? And we're getting closer to home. And we you turned by the gate and we said let's go around a little bit more till the end of the next song which was the pen. Because we we had just come from the song before, so we're like we we will drive from the gate and we'll drive around the block or like just take different turns to just waste time so we can hear this next song. And then we did that and we heard like two songs because we were just like, yo, play play more. And we got to the crib. When we got to the crib, that's when I started texting for like, Okay. Everyone is upset, including myself. We actually all spoke about it. That's why I wanted oh, really? to, to, to interview you guys. Yeah. We all spoke about it and we decided we actually need some <laughs> answers. So why did you guys decide to kill spiritual? <laughs> yeah. This is what this whole uh, documentary is going to be. Uh, yeah. Who, yeah. Why we, the pen and spiritual warfare died? Yeah, we framed the tale of that. Oh, we, 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 oh, we, oh, oh geez, this, is what, this, is, this is where it came from. Oh, this is what it's about. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. setting us up, you yeah. fuckers. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to pull out the documentary on some, like, you know, everybody telling, uh, giving their reasons as to why, yeah, the why. <laughs> why. And then now we actually need you guys And to, now when these people say they're going to give me their reasons why they shouldn't have. Yeah. Fuck them. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck those people. Fuck you. Maybe like the pen on its own would not have been like a an immediate single that we shoot a video for. It could have, you know, it was like one of those songs. But like if we give it a moment, then it's just like on a two track EP. Then we can shoot a video for it. Then it gives that thing its moment, mm. and it's like it kind of excites people before the album drops. Um, obviously, people will be disappointed. They're like, oh, these things are not on the album or whatever. But it's like, oh, they're still there. You can. Mm. You can still listen to them, they're there and you got a video for it. Mm. Whereas like, if it were on the album, maybe you wouldn't have got the video right now. Mm. And like, you know, my collabs with Youngster have always been a moment and I felt like maybe if it was on the album, it wasn't, uh, we weren't letting it be that moment. Because like there's is. other features yeah. there, there's Maclera, there's, you know, Zulu Mecca, you know, HD, Blackie, you know, so... Yeah, so like when yeah when we spoke about that for me it made like perfect sense. I think like, like in the process of of making stuff and putting stuff together, there's things that come up that you uh, that you that you try and solve and that you try and fix during any like uh, during any process of creating something. And sometimes there's like me uh, messages or things to take notice of that are not always the most uh, evident 
it, during the process of making this stuff. So you kind of just problem solve, problem solve, problem solve, mm. and you have this idea of what something should be like because you've committed to that in the beginning. And then when you go through the process, you don't always notice the places where it could be something else. But at the end, like once you've gone through the process and you sit at the end and you listen to stuff, well, this is how I kind of do it, right? When I sit at, when I sat at the end and I listened to the, to the project as we originally had it, um, I, I remembered the process we went through to get there, the different opinions, the different clashes, the different uh, like approaches. And then I, I, when I listened to it, it also felt that way. It also felt like we possibly didn't do we, we at, at that point like we possibly didn't do the entire project as much justice as I th as as I think we all intended to do because mm -hmm. of the multiple things that in the moment we were just problem solving but when you have a minute to sit back and listen like you can actually see that there was a bit of a or at least feel that there was a bit of a disjoint in in the in the project when you listen to it as a whole <laughs> <laughs> so like with the low end, right? Like before um before soil it was literally there was no um I guess quality control between me and pretty. It's literally just like me, pretty, upload. That's how we worked. So like now we're in a situation where we're working with different people and there's people who are actually with Zuchi in, in, in this context, who is put there for that reason, because that's the final step before it goes out. So adjusting to what his preference was as far as um, what the best for the final output of this thing on the low end spectrum is concerned, and what I thought was the best <coughs> clashed. Mm -hmm. So, we both want the best and we both, and the opposite things about this thing we think are the best. So I wanted more, he wanted less. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but we both think where we're at is that shit. Like, yes. I want it like that. And it's like, now nah, I want it like that because it's going to slap now if it's going to slap like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, it, it's that. It's like, it, it's tricky because we actually both want the best for the project, but our philosophies are very different just mm -hmm. in general, you know? So like, yeah, that's what that 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 situation was was that. It was just like difficult to navigate your personal preference over like and also like what you've been used to doing cuz like there hasn't been anyone in between me and pretty before it goes mm. up. So it's like it's the first time that thing I had to deal with that. So it's like emotions are like heightened <laughs> like, yo, personal. dude. Yeah, it's personal. <laughs> it's it deep. Very personal, but like, it wasn't personal. It just, yeah. it just, be, it, it felt, felt like it. a lot, you know. I mean, if you're not passionate about what you're doing, you know, if you're not passionate about what you're doing, this, it could be called into question. And if you're passionate about it, a big part of being passionate about it is like, you know, standing for what, what, what it is you believe in, you know. So. True, most true musicians just come like that as a package, or most true creators and artists are like they're strong in certain things they believe believe in, and in a setting where you've got different minds like that, it can be uh, it it could go either one or two ways. Like you know, it could be uh, very quarrelly, not like people are fighting or anything, but like it's different ideas bouncing, so there's not one to stick to, or you know, just Sometimes you need to relinquish power, you know. I came into the picture relinquishing some power. I didn't come in thinking I'm just going to mix this thing the way I believe. I need to take pointers. And, you know, if, if you could give some to get some, and you understand that's just how it is. What my experience was, of that was like, it was like, mm, mm, have you ever pulled your bottom lip and then over your head? <laughs> Like something like that. <laughs>
No, <laughs> no, but I fucking know. No, it was, it was for me. It was like for me. What I liked about it the most, the, the, the experience I liked the most about it was was um, the level of commitment that everybody showed, stemming from their own places and their own opinions and their own talents and their own ideas. Like the level of commitment was a, was a great thing to experience. So I I really like that because I feel like that process built a lot of camaraderie. Sure. Like as much as there were clashes and stuff, like mm-hmm. dudes got to know each other, bro. Yeah. And that's like the most important thing in life is like to really get into the trenches and get to know each other and then really understand where we come from, where we're all coming from, you know. So like in hindsight, that was like the, the thing that I experienced as, as like, a, like the most positive thing that came out of that month of like real trenches. Mm-hmm. Uh, the process of it though was like, hey bro, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty traumatic, dog. But it was like... Was definitely worth it. Yeah. <laughs> it was definitely worth yeah, it. Yeah, definitely worth it. Though. For me, it's like, yeah, I, I liked. My favorite thing about it was like just the, just really getting to know everybody. You know, like when dudes are highly energized, also when dudes are like mad tired, a little frustrated, but it's like even in all that, like everyone was still dedicated to see this thing like really land, bro. You know. So, yeah, it was tired. It was tiring because like I was away from my family. You know, we we spending like days in, yo, know, like from like morning, like literally from morning till the next morning in the studio. You know, I didn't even really have to like be. It's not like I'm physically like mixing. You know, sometimes it's just to be there to like listen. Most time I'm not even in the studio because I don't want to be hovering over the engineer and like you know let him do his thing. I'm in the next room, chatting to the boys or whatever, coming in and out. And um, it was like a daunting period, but like it was just daunting because it was just like every time we thought we were finished, we just weren't finished. One well, night we smoked cigars and oh my god, <laughs> we had so many rap parties. Oh, how many rap parties? Like, like, four yeah, or five rap parties. Four rap parties. We smoked cigars and then and and we smoked like, cigars and then we listened to the mix and we were like, ah oh, fuck, fuck, we're not yeah. done. It's like ah oh, shit, you know, we celebrated like a little too early, you know. So it was like, yeah, man, I think for me, that was, that thing really also told me like, yo, the patience, but even outside of patience, just like even more solidified, like how much like people are really dedicated to the project and like wow. really seeing this project become like the best it can possibly like be. You can detach from what you created as much as possible, but you know, before it has to go out, the, the attachment is kind of like even more extreme than what it was before. Yeah. So it's like to let certain things go at that stage is like even harder than it would have been yeah. like earlier. I know some Cali dudes that want to move to Cape Town. The ancestors of the Africans that they clown. Stay proud in the states where the slaves found. It's the same crown if you black or a shade brown. You know, like earlier on when I said like, you know, this thing is like a, for me, it's like a Bible. It's like a Bible, you know, is a book that is relative in meaning, you know, to different people. To some people, it's just a book. To other people, it's a way of life. To other people, it's like, it's hope. You know, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it, it gives like a lot of people hope for you know, a brighter future or whatever the case is. Um, for other people, it's, it's sim- it symbolizes turmoil, but like growing through that turmoil or, or what, what, what happens, what happens after a flood? You know, does life cease to exist? Or, cause after a flood, like a lot of things die, a lot of things get washed away, you know? and. When that water settles, is there new life that stems from it? Is there new life that grows? Is there still beauty afterwards? It's just like, so for someone who listens to this, is like, some people may feel like, man, I feel sad. It's like, but like, yo, man, it gave me hope though. 